Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the notification features of my QNAP NAS. And I've been doing a series on this NAS. I'll put a link in the description of my playlist if you want to check out the other videos. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a QNAP NAS, I'll put a link in the description to the NAS I'm using on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'm logged into the QNAP NAS. And in order to access the notification features, you want to open the control panel. So I have a little icon on my desktop here. Otherwise, you can click the main menu up in the upper left and click control panel. We'll open that up or close it. <laughs> there we go. Have it open now. And we want to go to notification center. And it says I have some warnings and errors. I'm going to close this for now. And I'm going to click right around the middle of the screen. It says email settings. I'll click settings here. I'll click add SMTP service. And I'll be using Gmail here. We also have Yahoo. Looks like QQ, QQVIP. I'm not sure what a lot of these others are. There's Outlook.com and Yahoo. Those are pretty common. So I'll click on the type and email address. It's going to ask me to authenticate. So I'll choose my Gmail account. It says that QTS wants to access your Google account. I'll click allow. So that's finished. I'll click create. And it says SMTP service has been added. There's a little action over here to send a test email. So I'll click on that. I'll click send. And I just got an email on my phone from this account. So I know it's working now. So you also have the option of SMS. Let's click on that and see what options we have. So it looks like there's different SMS service providers. There's Clickatel, Nexmo, Twilio, and Custom. So you can log into those and you can have it send SMS. I don't really do a lot of SMS notifications. There's instant messaging. We'll add IM account. It looks like we have the option of Skype or Facebook Messenger. And then there's push service. So if we download this Q Manager on our mobile device, it will push alerts to us. So there's quite a few options for setting up notifications. So I like to use email. Um, then I always have a permanent record of them uh, coming in. So if we go back to overview, we'll see we have uh, the email set up with one. And then we have um, an event notifications here. If we we'll hit settings, it says create rule. So we can give this a rule name. And then if we look here, it has all sorts of things we can get notified on. It says advanced network driver installation. Uh, scan jobs, app installation, app change, backup and restore settings, DLNA, media server status, general. I mean, there's lots if you scroll down through here. So I'm going to leave all these on for right now and see how many emails I get. And if I get too many from one of these services, I'll go back in here and I'll disable them. I'll hit next. On this page, we can specify the severity levels, keywords, and time range of notifications you want to receive. So you could use this, for instance, if you only want notifications if uh, something's happening overnight or something. You can go in here and add a time range in here. I'll hit next. Okay, so now we have methods and recipients. It says there's pair one of one. I'm going to send out email from the SMTP service I just set up. The custom subject line here, you can change it from the default subject line. And then the last option is send email as plain text. That might come in handy if you don't want a lot of graphics or something in your email. And then we're going to type an email address in here. Now on the right side, we're going to add the recipient address. Then I'll hit next. And you can add more than one email uh, recipient too. So this is a summary of everything I've set up. So I'll hit finish. And it says the notification rule has been created. So we can turn this on or off. So we just filled out event notifications. We can click over here on alert notifications. I'll click on that. I'll click create rule here. And this is kind of a similar setup. We have warnings and errors. There's also information. I'll just use the defaults for now. We have a time range. And it says notify me when number of log entries generated per minute exceeds this threshold. So I'll hit next. Once again, we have our sender and our recipient. So I'll add my email address over under recipient. I'll hit next. We have a summary. I'll hit finish. And now we have the notification rule has been created. So now we have an event notification, an alert notification. So let's click back up on overview. So this says we've successfully sent two emails. Zero have been unable to send. And then we have the system logs down here below. So this is pro these are probably the kinds of events that would be emailed to me. If we go to notification queue in history, we'll see it lists out the emails it sent. If we click on service account and device pairing, this is where we set up our email. Then we have system notification rules. We set that up already. And then global notification settings. 
So this has kind of a matrix here of email, SMS, instant messaging, and push service, and the different services on the machine. So you can turn these on or off individually. So that's a quick overview of how you set up Notification Center. I would recommend setting up notifications so you can tell if your drives go bad or other things like that. Um, it's up to you if you want very detailed logging and notifications or if you just want um, alerts for the most severe things. But I'm guessing most people will want some form of notifications, especially if a drive goes bad, you need to change that right away. So if you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.